Hi again, this is Captain B-Ray. I've been offline for mm, maybe a month or two. Uh, I got really bad burnout from programming. It happens uh, once a year or so, or maybe twice a year. Uh, and I just kind of had to chill on that for a minute. So I just kind of let things languish a bit, try to get my head right. And uh, I think in the past, over the past few weeks, I've had uh, kind of a big resurgence in, in programming energy. So I've been putting that into getting my purely functional uh, game engine to to the, to a point where it's actually usable by other people. I have not really made much progress on the actual game Omniblade that I've been uh, working on. Uh, I did actually have to end up halting the uh, art development uh, because my time is probably going to be uh, shifted towards uh, uh, something else uh, shortly. So. <clears throat> But but the the good thing that we've gotten out of out of uh, this work I've done on the game engine over the past year is we now have sort of a a proof of concept. If uh, you want to use functional programming for your game, you now have at least something to show to skeptical people that it does at least to some extent uh, it, to some extent has been proven to work. Uh, so that's that's a lot of. Uh, what the new game engine is it's it's sort of a proof of concept but it's also actually i spent a lot of time polishing up um <clears throat> polishing it up getting it usable and understandable for people other than myself and the way i got it figured well if i can't put the resources into <clears throat> getting the game up which does require a lot of resources uh i figure i can at least get the engine up and get that usable usable to other people. So I went ahead and, and sort of did the, the first <clears throat> release today of the new game engine and just kind of spammed all around Reddit and various places on the on the web that I thought people might find it relevant. Um, that it's 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 to the point where people can start looking at it to use it for their own projects. If not if or or just get some inspiration on, on how it was designed. Or again, use it as a, as, a, as a proof of concept for, for other people <clears throat> who might be skeptical about functional programming and games, real time games. So I don't really have an agenda for this particular talk, <clears throat> but what I do have up here on my screen is the documentation I wrote. Uh, and I guess it's really not much to say about the documentation, but it sort of speaks for itself. Uh, just go to go ahead and uh, go to the, the GitHub repository, and on the front page of the, the re, of, of the GitHub, there will be a link to this document, and you should go ahead and pull it down and take a look at it, see if you can make sense of it, and let me know if there's anything that you don't understand. So. Yeah, and you can see I'm just kind of skipping through. There's not that much there yet, but it, it does at least try to give you a high-level overview of how the game engine is structured. Um, there's going to be, there definitely needs to be more work put into it, um, into the documentation. Certainly more work needs to go into the game engine, but I think I'm okay with that because over the long term, I like working on game engines, even if I don't have the resources to put together a game. I like adding features to game engines, like, you know, we don't have a particle system yet, but, you know, you can whip one of those up in a week. Uh, stuff like that, you know, when you get little bits of time here and there, it's fun to go work on your game engine. Whereas with the game, you're like, you have to have this definite concrete thing before it's useful to anybody, and it's huge. So, so I may be just kind of focusing on that technology, because again, my <clears throat> my resources are going to be definitely splayed with, with the new, with the big thing I got coming up. Uh, which I'll definitely give you guys more detail about when it actually happens, because, you know, uh, no reason to spill the beans too early. Um, so, yeah, please check out the uh, the new game engine, check out the documentation. Um, hopefully you'll appreciate some of the value in this particular project, even though it's not, it's obviously not Unity. And in fact, it's, it's, it's only 2D, <coughs> and since it is developed by one guy and it's still so young, it really didn't have 
very many doesn't have very many uh well, it doesn't have any frills whatsoever yet. But it does have some interesting things. And maybe the most interesting thing is uh is is the implementation. Uh which which a lot of people could learn from or again, at least use as proof of concept for people who are skeptical about using this approach. Okay, I wanna go ahead and cut uh cut it cut this uh <clears throat> D log short because honestly I don't have anything else to say. Uh, so let me know if y'all have any questions. Um, again, uh, the everything will be, all the links will be available at the bottom of this video. And uh, and one thing that would be cool is if anybody gets time, you know, take a look at over it and let me know if you have any feedback because that's that's one of the most valuable things that um, a software developer can get. So take care, everybody.